Hey, what's up and welcome to a very new and exciting tutorial. My name is Mr. Popo and today we're going to be taking a look on how to create an animated simple scene inside of After Effects. So this is tutorial number... I lost count. Let's roll! So today um, we're going to be animating um, basically simple, simple, simple stuff. We are going to take a look on how to animate one of the one of the boxes and um, chest, let's say. And um, we're going to also see on how to animate this arrow. And um, we're going to take a look as well on how to animate this kind of plant and uh, pretty much a lot of things. Um, this kind of effect this kind of um, box messages and all so it's quite um it's gonna be interesting all right let's go so in the main comp which i call the main chisel i just put literally everything i need so it's just a bunch of um we have the background music we have the background which is just a solid and we have the pyramid there i use the shape layer to just make like pop 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 and then that's it and um, we have the shadows and then we have each um, chest uh, in the side and of course I have the vines which are made of just path tools and just like a few points same thing goes with this so you can see the points so yeah just really really simple thing we have the green feathers, <laughs> then we have the top feathers, and of course we have the solar beam. Um, this solar beam and all borium, solar borium, or whatever that thing means. Um, I just got it from the first episode, so if you haven't seen the first episode, I think you should go to my Vimeo or Instagram account. I completely forgot where did I put it. Um, so yeah, and then we have lots of sound editing the sound is actually from Zelda the Minish Cap and I just went to this amazing website which I'm gonna post a link later and um, you just give thing for free and that's really beautiful and I can use without getting sued it's just just beautiful so first we're gonna start with making this um, this chest and making it is pretty simple so um, you just go and open a new composition, so just say composition, new composition, and make sure it's around, let's just say, 300 by 300, and uh, yeah, 15, 15 seconds, that's quite cool. And you just call this uh, the chest. Um, actually, here I had um, three chests, so you have to be very precise on what chest is this. For example, this I'm gonna call it Fame because I'm gonna use the robot. Uh, I'm just gonna call it Love because I'm gonna put the robot inside, or I'm just gonna put the nizzle. All right, since we are working on the chisel, so we better have the nizzle. <laughs> and um, yeah, and then you click OK, and you're gonna have something like that. Cool. But for now, I'm just gonna use this composition that I prepared before this tutorial, and it just had these color swatches that I need to to use. So, all right, let's go. So, first, I'm just gonna probably get um, a grid like this, just to know what I'm doing. I'm gonna get um, the, uh, the orange there, rather. I'm gonna put something like this, something around here, something around just probably here. Just get it a bit rounded here, here. I'm just gonna put something like this, something just like this, like that. I'm just gonna curl it up here, I guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it. Um, I'm just gonna just do this thing right here. I'm gonna shift click on this one and then click it just to, you know, um, select it alone um, then I'm gonna try to create the other thing and the other thing I need to use the other color so that we create this um, kind of key holder 
thing just for design purposes. Um, I'm doing a really horrible job right now. I'm trying to get this not very long. Um, then the other one, I'm gonna try to make a keyhole. And to make a keyhole, I'm just gonna use a circle here. So circle, ellipse tool, and I'm just gonna zoom a bit, let's just say, uh, I don't know, you just scroll with your mouse. And, um, alright, just make a circle, and then you use your pad tool, just keep selecting the same shape layer. And I'm just gonna put like this, like that, don't make it too straight, just make it a bit, to, to make it look a bit um, cartoonish kind of thing. All right, cool. Um, I'm just gonna call this. Oh, 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 keyhole, also known as asshole. And we're gonna put um, keyhole holder. <laughs> and then this one, we're gonna call it keyhole holder holder. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just gonna call this main. Uh, I don't know, main belt? <laughs> I mean, just makes sense. And just to make real good sense, I'm just gonna click on this one and use orange so that I know what I'm doing, and yellow. And for the keyhole, I'm gonna use fuchsia, something that is too Justin Bieberish. And um, the next thing is I need to create the, the wood. And to do the wood, I'm gonna use this color, and I'm just gonna put something, uh, oh wait, I'm just gonna put something as such. It doesn't really matter, just something on the edges. I'm just gonna put it like this, and I'm gonna put it right behind. And I'm just gonna give it a brown color. Cool. Um, the next thing is I'm gonna put the wood for the bottom. Now here, pay attention because you're gonna open, you see, you're gonna open this thing. So you have to be very careful or on, you know, on this thing. I mean the top one we're not really gonna see it because it's below the, um, the thingy, the belt. But here we're gonna see it so you'd better be a bit careful when it comes to that. So I'm just gonna press here and to make sure you have a, um, a straight line just hold shift and click. And then I'm just gonna continue my way all the way here, then here probably, then here probably, and just put this one here, and then change that to brown. I think we're good, and that's we just a bit like that. Cool. Now, um, I just want to create now the belt, kind of the orangish thing um, that is holding the wood here. Um, so I'm just going to go again, and I'm going to choose this color, and um, I'm just going to do something like this. This. So I'm click here and make sure it's um, straight. And I'm just gonna do something. I, I think I wasn't supposed to do something that is rounded actually. Let's just do something simple. Let's not complicate things. Once again, this is not really an illustration tutorial, but rather um, I want to focus on the animation. So I'm just gonna go really, 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 really fast. Um, yeah, so the next thing that I need to do, I'm just gonna put this one on top of this guy. Alright, and I'm gonna make it orange. The next thing I need to do is I'm just gonna select these two brownish. Um, I just wanna create this um, this edge right here. So I'm just gonna go to stroke, make sure I'm gonna get something that's darker than this color. And I'm just gonna add a bit, just a bit of think two, two was good. Great. Alright, um, let me see this. Cool. It's seeable. It's seeable. And um, I'm just gonna go and uh, get this color. I'm just gonna put something like that kind of thing. I don't really need this. And um, to make sure this appears only on the belt, I'm just gonna go and put it on top of the belt, duplicate the belt, put it on top, go back to your um, highlight, highlight or sunlight um, top, 
and I'm just gonna go and use Alpha Mate this way. Yeah, I think I think it's Sora. I think it's Sora. Cool. And um, just to do it, um, to do it for the bottom one, it's very simple. I'm just gonna do something as such, and uh, same thing. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go to the bottom here. Where's that? Here. And I'm just gonna duplicate it, put it on top, and then I find it. So this way, I don't have that. All right. Cool. Well, actually, you can keep on continuing on adding those, um, you know, those details here, but we're not going to spend time on that. So, um, and now we have... I don't need that anymore. So, what I'm going to do here... Um, I'm going to try to animate this, but first, let me make sure that all the anchor points are right in the center. Beautiful. Now, I know that mm, this highlight has to follow the belt, so I'm just gonna take both of them and make them move the highlight. So this way, if I move the belt, they're both moving. Great. The next thing is this one, wood, top, has to follow the main belt as well. Beautiful. Now the only thing that is left is these two niggas. So I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna make the key holder and the keyhole boot following the main belt. So basically if I try now to animate it, it is gonna be animated. Which is cool. And yeah, I think we're good to go. So how to animate this? Um, I'm just gonna go, of course, I need to do a bit of um, position, so I'm just gonna go like here. Okay, I'm gonna go to position, I'm gonna put a keyframe, and then I'm gonna hold Fn shift down, or if you're on Windows, you put um, shift page down to go 10 frames, and then you go another 10 frames to move it right up. All right, somewhere like this. Cool, and then it's gonna be open for like a second, and then we're gonna duplicate the keyframe, and then 20 frames, and then we just copy this keyframe and we put it back. So what's going on here? It's gonna go up, then it's gonna go down. Beautiful, but then the speed is really bad. So we're just gonna hold both of them, and I'm just gonna go to keyframe assistant, easy ease or F9. Beautiful. Now let's see. Let's see again. Cool. It's not really that good. It's not powerful. So to make that powerful thing, I'm just gonna go to the graph editor, make sure that my uh, graph is speed, and I'm just gonna hold fast. It's gonna go fast, and then it slows at the end. And same thing here, I'm gonna make it Alright, cool. Great. I mean, you can stop here, you can go and start animating other things, but that's not really cool. That's not really what I do. And I like recently to add this small, not really recently, I mean, since, since the beginning, I like to add these small details that looks like real animation. So the thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna wait when it comes down. All right, and then I'm gonna bounce it. Um, there are millions of scripts where you can use to, to do a bounce, but I personally prefer if things are manual, like manual keyframing, there is nothing better than that. So now it fell down, and then it has to like, do, 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 you know, that thing. So to do that thing, um, the way I go with it is I go 20 frames, and I move it a bit up, just a bit up, all right? And then I go 20 frames, and then I copy when it went down. And then I go again 20 frames, I put it just a bit up. And then I go 20 frames, and then I paste it again. Why am I copying this keyframe? Because, of course, I mean, it's closed, 
So basically, this stop cannot go even down here because it's impossible because it's closed. So the only thing that I need is when it goes up, it bumps up. All right. So let's see what's going on now. All right. Cool. But it's not really cool. The reason is first, we have what we call a boomerang effect. You see, it goes down, and that's not really what I want. You see? It goes down. That goes down is what we call a boomerang effect. To fix that, you just select the keyframes that you don't want it to have a boomerang effect. For me, I don't want all of them to have a boomerang effect. So I'm just gonna go to keyframe interpolation, interpolation, spatial interpolation. I'm just gonna put linear. This way, I'm gonna have things linear and I won't have a curve. So it goes up, then it goes down to, to, but it's so, so slow. To fast things up, we don't need 20 frames. We need less than that. So I'm just gonna select all this and hold Alt to move them all together. Let's just say all this has to be in, in a second. So let's see again. Boom. All right, and I think I should go here. Yes, that's a problem. I'm just gonna put an F9, and I'm just gonna try to... Okay. Cool. Play. Cool. So that's how you get what we call the bounce effect, which is cool. Now, um, this is done. The next thing we need to do is we need to get something inside. So for us, let's just say we're going to get the nizzle here. So I'm just going to bring the nizzle and I'm just going to bring it here. So this is the nizzle. This is the desert bot, the robot. So let's just say we want him to uh, to be inside the box. So I'm just gonna go and put it right behind everything. Here, okay, cool. So the moment it opens, there is nothing. And then suddenly we get a position on two. Then we go like, yay! Cool. And same thing, I'm gonna go F9. And I'm just gonna go and make this even cooler. All right. So basically, if I wanted to close with this down, then I'll just Put it back down. So this side, F9, then just make it like this. So, all right. So that's how you do an opening of a chest, and yeah, you put it back down. Um, cool. Now, how can we make some lights? Like this is like. Oh! Like so wow, like so wowish, wowish, is that even a word? Okay, wowish is not a word. How many words did we invent since I first started tutorials? Um, I don't know. So what are we gonna do? Um, we're gonna get something like that. And to do the light, um, it's quite simple. I'm just gonna go to something like from here. I'm gonna do like, yes, exactly. It doesn't matter whether it's edgy or not, because you wouldn't really matter. Um, this one just have to be here. Now, how to make this uh, skill? Nah, you just put it on top of everything. That's so. How do we go from that? How do we get that that look? 
To get that, I use the fast blur on this. All right, and I'll just put just a bit. Let's just say five or something like that. Cool. But then, if I keep on, you know, adding this, I mean, we won't really be seeing anything. So I just want it to be just a bit blur, and then to get it really up. We're just going to go back again here. Uh, first, I'm going to call this light. And uh, I'm just going to put fast blur. And this time, in spite of doing a blur again, which is like doing anything, um, we don't want it on horizontal and vertical. We're just going to choose horizontal. See? Horizontal is just going to go this side and this side, but that's not really what we want. What we want is vertical. Ah. Cool. And then I'm sure we're going to change that to screen. Okay. Then I pass it to you to separate them. Cool. So this way you have that oh, effect. Right? You can use a glow later on, but that's not. Let's not really worry about that for now. Cool. Now, how to animate this? I mean, you don't just do that and then just show it suddenly. I mean, we have to animate this. And to animate that, I'm just gonna go to the part where it um, it is open, and I'm just gonna go here, and I'm gonna animate something we call path. Now, let me just explain something. For example, you have, let's just say you have, uh, I don't know, uh, let's just make something simple. Let's just say you have a client and then suddenly he tells you, hey, I want you to animate for me, uh, I don't know, uh, a finger or a penis or whatever. So to do that, um, we have to animate what we call the path of the penis or the finger or the line or whatever you want to animate. So to do that, um, you just go inside your shape layer and you go to shape and inside that you have path. All right, and then you have a start by. So path for penis or path. And um, you just put a keyframe and then let's just say after two seconds, the penis is gonna sleep. Let's just say the penis is gonna sleep or the finger is gonna sleep, so yeah. So you see that? The finger is going to sleep. And then suddenly it's going to wake up and then it's going to be like, oh. So this is how you can get a penis out of me. Just kidding. But yeah, this is the whole idea. So if you want to animate something, you can just, uh, how do you call that? Okay. You can just, you know, <laughs> no fix it wrong. Um, <laughs> you can animate it this way. So, yeah, for now. Cool. So, that's the same thing I'm gonna do here. So, I'm gonna go to light, and I'm gonna go to contents, shape, look for penis, path, and path. And I'm just gonna put a keyframe here. And when it closes, it has to be really close. So, I'm just gonna choose this, put it here, put it here, put it here, put it here. Put it here, 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 oh, yeah. here, hey. here, 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 and here. Cool. And it's just gonna open, but when it's gonna open, it has to be fast as well. So I'm just gonna go here and do it fast. So that's like. That's like nothing, but sure. Alright. Cool. Well, probably a bit faster than that. Yeah. Cool. Now, how to animate it now next? I'm just gonna go until, until before it closes. Let's just see when it closes. Okay, here. So I'm just gonna put a keyframe again. And I'm just gonna wait until it closes 
so that I can copy this keyframe and put it back here. And this time I'm just going to put something like that. Alright, so what do we have? It goes up and closes down. Alright, and then I'm going to end the layer here. Because I don't really need it after that. Alright. Now, what do we do in between? That's where we have to animate. I'm just going to go like here. And I'm going to use my tool so that I can select this. Uh, this time, this one is going to go down, this one is going to go up, this one is going to go down, this one up, this one 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 down. Alright. Stuff like that. So it's going to go up. Alright, it's going to be animated. Probably I'm going to copy this one back. I'm going to copy this one again so that I don't really have to do things again and again and again. Um, and then I'm just going to come here and I'm going to use an F9. Okay. See that? And then it closes. That's pretty much it. Now, next. Now that we actually animated this, um, how do you call that? Chest opening. There is something you can add in the beginning, and that is this one, main belt. You go to rotation, you put a keyframe. You go back 20 frames, you put a keyframe. Now, between these two, we're gonna do like, um, you know, like the anime, like. Alright, so you can use motion sketch or you can use wiggler uh, here, you can actually use wiggler, but um, I'm not really gonna use that, I'm just gonna use it manually. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna do like, uh, eight. I'm gonna do like two. So I'm just gonna put these two guys here. I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna put a minus one. So it's like zero, two, minus one, zero. And I'm just gonna do the same thing. Nine, um, Let's see what's going on. But it's too slow, so once again, I'm gonna select all the keyframes, Alt, and just put it something like this. And uh, all right. So just remember that what I'm trying to do here. I'm just trying to teach you the way of doing this. I mean, you can actually perfect this the more you spend time on it. Um, how long you want to be your keyframe. So all these things are practical. I mean, this is, I'm just showing you the way to do this. I mean, the steps, but to perfect it, you have to spend really lots of time. Mostly this animation takes me around a day or half a day to just make, to just make it. So I can't really do all that perfection in an hour or two, an hour hopefully or half. Now, we have that, that is cool. Now, the next thing is, how did I animate the robot in such that, um, like this? Well, as you can see, I just used path, all right, on the nizzles. How do we do that? Let me just show you again. So I'm gonna put a keyframe on path on both of them. And then I'm gonna go like 10 frames, for example. And then I'm gonna say, now he's angry. And then I'm gonna say he's gonna be okay when that guy will call him hey and then I'm gonna say oh it's gonna be okay and same thing here it's gonna be like oh oh sorry okay cool so pop pop and then he's gonna keep on looking and then he's gonna say oh I love that nigga and then he'll be like You know, an animation when someone is smiling, you have that, uh, the eyes are closed that way. Kind of like a line, which I never really understood. Because, yeah, when you, yeah, it makes sense actually. 
My bad. Alright. Okay. Cool. Alright. Cool. We're done. I'm done. The, the, but it's better if you put an F9. Cool. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, that's about animating the robot. But then the robot, after a while, when that guy say, Hey! He was like, Oi! I love you too. Alright, so how to do the I love you kind of piece? <laughs> so how to do the I love you? Um, to do the I love you is pretty simple. It was just white and then I tried to make a dialogue thing. So how to do that? I'm just gonna put like pop. Uh, sorry. I'm gonna put like pop, pop, and then just a bit of a circle. Yeah, that doesn't really have to be perfect because this is a cartoon. I'm just gonna make a speech bubble. Bubble doesn't really write like that, but I don't really know how to write it, so it's okay. Awkward moment. And um, I'm gonna try to make the heart. So I'm just gonna take his color because he's lovely. Oh. And we're gonna put, I think, you freaky, and then make you like that. Yeah, cool. I think that makes it. Yep, okay, cool. And we're just gonna select the boat, and then we're gonna put their anchor point in the center. But then, this nigga right here, his anchor point is not in the right place. Because, see this, he will be like... Hey! So we need to rotate it from the speech bubble. So I'm just gonna take the anchor point tool. I'm just gonna bring this guy here. And the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna scale and rotation in the same time. So I'm gonna go to scale, but first I'm gonna do rotation. Okay, so rotation, it's gonna be like this. But yeah. I've got a problem because this guy has to follow this guy. Alright, so I'm just gonna put like uh, 40, I guess. Yep. Then I'm gonna go like 20 frames and I'm gonna put this zero. And this one is gonna be 100 at the end, but then in the beginning it's gonna be. Beginning, it's gonna be zero. Cool. So once again, this one is gonna go. Uh, so ease and wheeze, guys. I've already covered this in other tutorials. So get this script called ease and wheeze and put, let's just say, back on the out one. So this way we're gonna have the rotation back, but we can't see much because the scale is not really happening. So scale, I'm gonna put elastic so it bounces. See that? Yay! Cool! So, how to make it disappear? Just after a while, we close it. Yeah, that's how it disappears. Just close. But then, look at this. Oh, it doesn't really go well. Let's just say it like this. Um, it's not really cool. You know, you can go with it. Your supervisor might be okay. Yourself might be okay. Your friends. But I think we can just add a little bit of something. I'm just gonna go and copy the color of the speech bubble and I'm gonna make an effect for it disappearing and I'm just gonna put a circle but I don't really need this circle what I need is this circle All right and I'm just gonna make it like this I think you freaky and I'm just gonna call this circle effects now I'm just gonna make sure that this guy is in the center the anchor point I'm just gonna put it like this. Okay, cool. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna play with scale and I'm gonna play with opacity as well. And I'm just gonna go back to any frames. I'm gonna put that again. All right, cool. So opacity is 100, scale is zero. So the moment it goes to 100 in scale, opacity goes off. And then we're just gonna take both of them, but then for scale, we're gonna make it fast to slow. Let's just see what's going on here. S that's it. So the moment he disappears, I need this to be a bit visible. 
Let's just see it like this. All right, cool. So that's how I did my speech bubbles, all of them. Like all these guys. That's exactly how I did them. All right, cool. Now, how did I do this bouncing? Um, how do I go like? Um, um, chest? So I'm just gonna select it, and as you can see, I just need a position of the patient. But let's do this. Um, thing is, I'm just gonna delete this. I'm just gonna go to bed. Okay, put position of the patient. I'm just gonna go 10 frames. I'm gonna get this guy up. All right? That's a bit up. And rotation, I'm gonna say it's two. And then 10 frames. This one is zero and it's gonna go back to where it was and I'm just gonna select them both of them and just to do like bounce so you can see that it goes fast it slows a bit in the air and then it goes down just like a ball and to do this I'm just gonna select them both and um, I'm just gonna do two like this and I'm just gonna do two like that so it goes up and then comes down so there is this silent time well, my computer is hanging and I don't really know why and after effect never really hang like this before so let's go okay let's go see that always have a sound effect because without sound effect this animation will really look so dumb Trust me, it is. It is dumb, but without sound effect, it really looks really, 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 really dumb. Now, um, what else? Um, we've got the arrow. The arrow is quite simple to animate. First thing is, of course, we have to bring it up. Let me arrow of choice in the main chisel. We are in the composition main chisel now. So we've got sides. I'm gonna put a keyframe and 20 frames. I mean, these things are now simple. If you've been following my tutorials all along, this should be nothing, actually. I'm just gonna put an elastic, so... See that? Yay! Now, how to make it like float like this? That's simple. That's called position. Um, I'm just gonna go here, put a position. Then 20 frames, I'm gonna put it down just once. Then 20 frames, I'm gonna push it back up. 20 frames, I'm gonna push it down. 20 frames, I'm gonna push it now to this side. Because now I finished the choice. See? See this thing right here? That's what we call the boomerang effect. See that? Let me show you again. See that? That's what we call the boomerang effect. And if you don't really want that boomerang effect, we said that all you need to do is select this at the end, not now, but I'm just going to do it now so that you can see the difference. And I'm going to put linear, and that way you won't curve, it will be linear. And I'm just going to wait another 20 frames, and I'm going to move to the other choice, which was this one in the animation. So I'm just showing you a bit how things were done. And I'm just going to use an F9, and that's it. Let's just see now. All right. The only problem is that it's a bit slow, so I guess we just have to do it like that. See that? Yes, that's how it works. Cool. And then you repeat again, it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. All right, that's for error choice. But then, but then, after a while, I needed to disappear, so if I try, for example, to do a scale again, and then uh, one, two, it has to disappear. Look what's gonna happen here. See that? I'm gonna have a problem, and this is because this is is also is only good in the first two keyframes, but after that, 
it just screws up everything because it's not in the in the script it only takes care of the, the first two or the first one and the last one but in between it's quite a hustle and it's quite a problem for the script so how did I fix this it was quite simple I just waited until the time I needed this to disappear and I for example here I duplicated this and yes I made this disappear and this one I'm just gonna take it off put one two and zero and I don't need a expression so I'm just gonna delete everything I'm just gonna make a uh, F9 Master Slayer Alright, cool. So that's how the arrow was animated. Now, um, other than that, the other thing that I've animated was this thing here. Okay, so first thing was this guy when the money came in, uh, the money came in, this guy was heartbroken. And then when the fame came in, see, when, when the fame came in, this guy was like, oh no, alright, he's like, oh crap, that's not my lovely honey. So, um, what I did here is, I just animated a bit, like, a bit of, uh, he was uh, sad. So I just went to rotation, and I made sure that the anchor point is right here, so that I can rotate it, like, oh, <gasps> Alright, so, oh, <laughs> but don't... Do it too much or else you're gonna break your neck so I'm just gonna put a rotation and then he's gonna be like oh all right just a bit cool but then I'm gonna put a f9 and I'm gonna make sure that this is fast or slow oh okay but the thing is it's too um it is it's okay it shows that disappointment but the thing is, it's good if we have a bit of bouncing again, so let's just practice again the bounce. So I'm just gonna go here to rotation and I'm gonna go like 10 frames and I'm gonna go, not really 10 frames, I'm just gonna go just a bit, like few frames. And I'm just gonna push it back up just a bit. Then I'm gonna go here, then I'm gonna go few more frames and I'm gonna push it back down. And then I'm gonna go a few more frames. And I'm just gonna push it just a bit. Just this time, just a bit. And then I'm gonna go a few more frames. And bring it back the way it was. So let's see now what's going on. Hmm, I think I should be, stop, I think I should just make it this bit. Or probably, or probably, I'll just make, I, I'll just make, wait, I'll just make two bounce, one bounce and then that's it. So that's how you do a bit of bounce and for this one as well for the hey what I did was all right for the hey to do that um, I just went to position and then that's it I mean just the same thing again uh, one two you just went up a bit then one two you went back but then it didn't just went back, it went again 20 frames, just a bit up, another 20 frames, it went back, another, yeah. So that's how we do it. 
this is how we do it. Do, 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 do. I don't really have much space. Hold on. Okay, and here. It has to slow. Um, it has to slow a bit in the air because it bounced. So it slows a bit in the air. So it goes up, it goes down. Actually, it needs to go up again. Just a bit. And then it comes down the way it was. Cool. And I'm gonna make sure that all these are interpolation linear. And um, one, two. But all this after that has to be shortened. So let's just say. See that? That's the bounce. But now let's sync it to the music. Okay. Somewhere around here. See that? Alright. Cool. But then, when it bounces up, there must be something going on on the vines. And to do that, we're gonna, again, work on the path. So I'm just gonna use this search thing so that I don't keep going, 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 going. I'm just gonna go here and put path. And this way, After Effect is gonna show me the options that I need. So to animate this, I'm just gonna go to one by one. So this one bounced up. So what I need to do is just bring this one a bit up. This one a bit up. I'm just gonna bring this one a bit up and show this one that it went a bit up. Cool. And then it came down. So I can just copy this one down. And same thing for this one. It's said like, hey! All right, and then said, "Hey, okay. Oh, better just copy this one. And then go here. Is where it says, "Hey," and then so that it has to come back as it was, and just a simple F9, and then do exactly the same thing you did." for the hay. So this way. See that? The vine moves. Just like. See that? It moves with the hay. And that's that's what we call. So basically that's all pretty much about it. Um yeah. The the sound you really have to add sounds in your animation. There are millions of libraries online, there is free SFX, there are forums, there are fans that gives um, uh, sound effects for... Yeah. So... And just make sure you check a lot of references before you start doing your animations because it's really important to learn from the others. And um, yeah. Uh, I tried to keep this as short as possible. Thank you very much, and um, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Make sure you watch the other tutorials if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys later.